Hi everyone, in this video I'll give you a brief overview of the types of dementia. It is an important topic as dementia affects over 700,000 people in the UK alone. For a brief overview, I'll be talking about Alzheimer's dementia, vascular dementia, lewd body dementia and frontotemporal dementia. So in terms of the types of dementia, the ones that I've mentioned, it is important to know that there's cortical dementias which affect the cortex such as Alzheimer's and frontotemporal dementias. You can have subcortical dementia such as Lewy body dementia or Parkinson's um, and subcortical dementias affect the basal ganglia and the thalamus. And lastly, you can also have mixed dementias, which include vascular dementia and infectious dementia. However, most importantly, in all cases, symptoms must be present for six months before a diagnosis can be made. Firstly, let's start with Alzheimer's dementia. For a bit of background, it is the commonest type of dementia by far, and it is caused by beta amyloid plaque deposition within the cortex. In terms of the clinical presentation, I remember the four A's, which include amnesia or the loss of memory, aphasia or the difficulty with language and speech, agnosia, which is the inability to process sensory information, and apraxia, which is difficulties with motor movement. In terms of investigations, you can perform a CT scan, which would show you widespread cerebral atrophy and you could perform histology, which would show you plaque depositions of beta amyloid within the affected brain. In terms of management, for mild or moderate cases, you can use acetylcholinesterase inhibitors, such as the nepazil and galatamine, and the side effects of this medication includes diarrhea, nausea, dizziness, and insomnia. Whereas for severe cases, you can use NMDA antagonists, such as memantine, and the side effects of that medication include confusion, dizziness, and constipation. Next, there's vascular dementia, which is the second commonest form, and it is caused by impaired blood flow to areas of the brain, as the name would suggest. In terms of the clinical presentation, the symptoms tend to appear suddenly. However, there is stability in between each vascular event, and the symptoms depend on what area of the brain is affected. So if the cortex is affected, you would get the apraxia, agnosia, behavioral and mood disorders. However, if the subcortical tissue is affected, you would get things such as chorea, depression or apathy. And there is a step ladder deterioration to the patient. So they'll have a sudden decrease in the cognitive function and then a period of stability before another vascular event occurs. In terms of the investigations, you can do a CT scan, which would show you areas of infarction. And in terms of management, you would want to manage the vascular risk factors, whether with statins, blood pressure control, aspirin, etc. And you can also give risperidone for short-term use in behavioral and psychological symptoms. Next is Lewy body dementia. So again, for background information, it is caused by alpha synuclein deposition inside the substantia nigra, the pyrolimbic area, and the neocortical area. In terms of the clinical presentation, you can get Parkinsonism, transient impaired consciousness, which is very different to all the other types of dementia, and you can get REM sleep disorder, where patient physically acts out very unpleasant dreams vividly, often with arm and leg movements, um, and it is also called dream enacting behavior. In terms of their investigations, you can perform a DAT scan, which would show you dopamine uptake in the substantia nigra, as well as histology, which will show you alpha synuclein deposition in the brain. In terms of the management, you can give acetylcholinesterase inhibitors, such as denepazil and galantamine, However, it's very important to not give antipsychotics to patients with Lewy body dementia, as giving antipsychotics can result in neuroleptic malignant syndrome. The last type of dementia I would like to discuss is frontotemporal dementia, also called PICS disease. It is caused by atrophy of frontal and temporal lobes, and it tends to present earlier than other types of dementia. In terms of the clinical presentation, 
you have a prodrome phase where the patient's personality might slightly change. They stop caring themselves. They stop caring about themselves a little bit. Things like that. However, you then see things like impaired social conduct. Patients may start gambling a lot. There's an increase in appetite. So some patients um, are described as having a very sweet tooth all of a sudden. And they can be emotional blunting towards family. In terms of the investigations, you can perform a CT scan, which would show you focal gyro atrophy with a knife blade appearance. And histology would show you pick bodies or tau proteins. In terms of the management, again, you can perf- you can give acetylcholinesterase inhibitors or NMDA inhibitors such as memantine. This was a very brief overview of the types of dementia. It has hopefully given you uh, an insight of how to distinguish between the types of dementia and what you would see on imaging, as well as how to approach the first line management of dementia. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you can consider subscribing and I'll see you in another video.